looks good. I haven't really been making videos like that for a minute, so I just wanted to drop this one. Now, really quick, I just want to give a shout out to Icy Twat. Now, this is an artist that has been going on a rampage lately with just dropping the craziest visuals every single day. Um, a bunch of cool different video editors and directors and stuff worked on these videos. So I'll make sure to drop those in the link just so you guys can go check out their work. It's really cool stuff. But yeah, without wasting too much time, let's just get into this reverse fisheye effect. So the first thing you're going to want to do is type in lens distortion and you're going to drag that onto this clip and you're just going to want to adjust the curvature to something like negative 70. And you can always go a little bit crazier, just kind of depending on what you want to do. After a while, it gets to be kind of OD, but you know, I think around 50 to 70 looks pretty good. So yeah, I'm just going to do like negative 75. And then you're going to duplicate this clip. I'm just hitting Alt and then dragging it up. And on this top clip, we're actually going to delete the lens distortion layer. And then we're going to select the circle in the uh, opacity layer. We're going to put this feather up to something like 125. And we're also going to adjust the opacity a bit and the expansion. You can definitely just play around with this. There's no, you know, super specific way that you have to go about it. And yeah, I think that that looks pretty cool. Now the next step is going to be scaling down the bottom layer so that where that opacity lines up sort of aligns with your top clip. You can see around his hoodie, I think right here it looks good, but you know, you can kind of just see how as you play with it, it, you know, sometimes looks a little blown out. Now that could be cool if you want that effect, but yeah, I'm going to just drop it to something like this. And yeah, I think that's pretty good. And then really quick, you're just going to select both of those clips, nest them, call it reverse fisheye. And then we can just scale this nested layer up just a bit and then just play with the position and make sure it fills the frame. And just like that, we have this super sick effect. Now, I think that this looks crazy. This isn't exactly what they were doing in the music video, but I think this looks super sick and it's just like a fun way that you can add a little bit of trippiness to your visuals without it just overtaking and becoming distracting. But yeah, I think, you know, I still wanna play around with this a little bit and just kind of clean it up. So I'm just gonna mess around with this just a tiny bit. Yeah, and that already looks better. Now you can mega fine tune it, but I think it does look a little cool when it's just a little distorted. But yeah, from there, I think another cool thing that you can do is add this glow. Now, if you want to do this in After Effects, there's like a bunch of different third-party glows that you can use that are super cool. So definitely feel free to import this into After Effects, but I just want to keep this video simple for you guys and just sort of show you what you can do uh, just in Premiere Pro only. But yeah, you're going to want to just kind of adjust some of these thresholds and get like a really cool look and i think that it also looks best when you sort of keyframe it you know so i'm going to uh set keyframes for these two parameters and i'm going to change the tint color to something a little more blue just since that's kind of what the video's rocking and i'm just going to add a couple little kind of moments where we just keyframe in and out some of these effects so i'm going to go from zero to point two and then from this i'm going to go to one to like 60 and then I'll just copy these keyframes and just like that it just adds a little bit more sauce to your video now this footage already looks sick before but you can see if we toggle it on and off it just makes it a little bit more dramatic and kind of makes it a little bit more of a dream sequence but I hope you guys found this helpful now I really think that this series of music videos that I see Twat's been doing with these various artists is super sick so I'm probably going to cover some more uh, I think I'm the only person who's done this one so far, so, you know, definitely show some love if you found this helpful. But yeah, I appreciate it. You guys take it easy. Hope you have a good weekend.